so here we are uh, right where we left off last time. Uh, we put it into Linux and we were able to get a shell so that we don't have the touch screen interfering and we can do pretty much anything we need from the shell. But let's try to get the GUI working by disabling this touch screen. And there are commands using X input to disable the um, the touch screen, and of course there's a, a GUI way of doing this, but we can't access any of the GUI stuff because anything we try to do, this broken screen is clicking down here in the bottom right of the corner. And if we didn't get a good shot of it last time, it's kind of hard to see because of um, the difference in contrast between the screen and uh, the laptop itself. Here is the physical damage on the laptop that's causing the problem. It's the whole bottom right of the screen by the hinge. The actual whole hinge is, is broken off here. Um, and that's causing uh, the touch screen to, to act out on us. So this is uh, very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to edit the xorg config file uh, for our desktop. All we need is a text editor and to add one line of text to that file. So we're going to do that, and again there are simple commands uh, using X input to disable the touch screen, but I want to make sure this is permanent. Right now I'm running off a, a bootable USB drive, but if you decide to install Linux, you can edit this config file and it should keep that setting uh, through reboots so that you don't have to type it in each time. So again, I'm going to press Control-Alt-F1 to bring myself to a, uh, a terminal here. Now, I normally hate pointing cameras at screens like this, uh, but I can't be recording the video through software when I'm flipping back in and out of Xorg. So just bear with me. Uh, again, I'm booting right now a live uh, version of Linux Mint. Uh, I normally use Vim as my text editor, but that's not installed by default. I could install it after connecting to the network, but I'm just going to use Nano. So I'm going to say sudo nano. So nano is my text editor. I'm going to say forward slash usr share uh, x11 and then xorg.config.d and the file inside that is 10 uh, and 10 dash ev dev dot conf for config. So we'll press that and you can see that the last input right here says touch screen. So I'm going to go down to that and add to the bottom of that one line of code. So I'm going to hit enter, tab, I'm going to type in option, whoops, ig, whoops, this keyboard is a little different than mine. The shift key is very small and it throws me off. Uh, ignore, and I have an extra O in there, ignore. Close the quotes, and then inside other quotes, we're going to say on. So we're turning on the ignore this device. I'll press Control X, Y, and Enter to save it. Now, if I Control Alt F7, or sorry, Control Alt F8 in this case, we are back at our desktop, and it's still spazzing out. Don't worry, it's because we need to restart uh, uh, Xorg and. So I can kill it or through some commands, um, but I'm just going to press Control Alt Backspace. Uh, I believe that that does not work on Ubuntu anymore. They disable that for some reason, but on many systems that still will restart your Xorg. So there we go. You see that we restarted. We're at a login screen. The mouse cursor is right in the center of the screen. It's not spazzing out. In two more seconds, we're going to log into our desktop and we have a fully usable desktop. The mouse pad works, but our touch screen is disabled. Since it's malfunctioning, that's what we wanted. So that's it, I can log online now and do whatever I need to do. I have a functioning desktop. So I thank you for watching this video uh, and seeing how we made this laptop usable again. Now again, um, it was very, it's great that in Linux, pretty much everything you can do can be done in a GUI interface or in the shell. Uh, which is a little more difficult when it comes to operating systems like Windows. We were locked into the GUI and we were unable to do anything. Now, I'm not saying that there's no way to get some sort of shell on Windows. Um, I'm not, I haven't used Windows really very much in years. Um, and if you can get to a shell, uh, I don't know if it's possible to disable the touch screen uh, through their, their shell. So, if you know of a way, definitely comment below because my in-laws, unfortunately, still would like to use this computer with Windows, so I'm going to play around. You know, I, I thought of different things like, okay, maybe I can log into it through the network and, and you know, then use that interface to disable the touch screen since hopefully the mouse, but that, that wouldn't work because I can't get 
onto the network and enable remote connections since I can't do anything on it without uh, using the, the GUI interface. So, so that option's out. But definitely comment below if you know of a way that I'm able to disable the touch screen without interacting with the GUI in Windows, that'd be great. But luckily it's very easy to do uh, on pretty much every Linux distribution out there. Uh, you can get yourself to a shell without the GUI uh, and you can then change any settings on the computer <laughs> with, uh, with the shell. I do apologize for any background noise going on in this video as I started to film my children woke up from their naps and they are being a little loud, so I appreciate uh, your patience with any background noise, but I had to get this video done because I need to get this laptop uh, backed up and sent back over to my in-laws. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by commenting below and liking this video. You can also help support me by sharing this video. Uh, if you have a few dollars a month that you can support, be sure to go to patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There you can become a patron of mine. There's different levels of rewards, and uh, such as getting videos early and ad-free and in a downloadable format. Uh, and I appreciate your support. If you can't support me financially, again, you can help support me by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. That helps out a bunch. I appreciate your time, and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.